Welcome to BYU-Idaho's Math Study Center and the Pathway Math Course. In these videos, you'll meet three faculty members at BYU-Idaho. First, Rich Llewellyn is the Math Study Center Director. He founded the program as it now works. Brother Stephen O'Shaughnessy is one of the most energetic teachers you will ever see and will help with the student engagement. And Brother Daniel Baird, who will help with many of the explanations. Welcome to BYU-Idaho's Developmental Math Program. You're joining the hundreds of students here on campus and the thousands of students around the globe who are participating in developmental math at BYU-Idaho. My name is Brother Rich Llewellyn. My students call me Brother Rich. I'm excited to have you join us. Notice that I mentioned the word developmental. What is developmental math? In the dictionary, developmental is defined as the process of bringing about the capabilities and possibilities of a person, to bring them to a more advanced or effective state, to bring about growth and progress. That's what this program is all about, is helping you grow and progress by establishing a foundation in your basic math skills. 40% of entering college freshmen or new college students struggle with math. They feel inadequate in their math skills. They've had bad experiences in the past and their confidence is low. Our goal is to help you develop your fundamental math skills and grow and progress in math and in your confidence. If you are a student who has struggled with math, when we take something we're not strong in and do as the Lord has counseled us in the Book of Mormon in Ether chapter 12. And we make it a strength. We learn two things. One, we learn about ourselves. We learn about our own possibilities and capabilities, what we can accomplish. The second thing we learn is we learn about our Heavenly Father. We learn of His strengths and of His possibilities and capabilities for us. It's such a powerful opportunity. Brigham Young once stated, work as if everything depends on you, and pray as if everything depends on God. We admonish you, I admonish you, to work your hardest, take advantage of this program, pray and ask the Lord to help you, and as you do so, and you make weak things become strong, you will serve the purpose of this program in developmental math in becoming a more capable person and learning of the possibilities that lie ahead for you. Hello everybody and welcome to 100G. My name is Brother O'Shaughnessy. I'm excited to work with you this semester in this 100G Pathway course. The purpose of my involvement in this course will be to bring you into our classrooms here on campus. One of the things that we often do is involve students in the learning process. In fact, the BYU-Idaho learning model states that you should be a participant in the learning and even have opportunities to teach one another. So as we are going along through this course, you're going to be watching different instructors teach you content. And then, after learning a certain type of content and material, I'll pop into our videos and give you guys opportunities to practice problems. I'll usually yell out something like, to the boards, because that's what we do in uh, classes here on campus. And that's going to give you an opportunity to come to the board virtually and participate in problems. How it'll work is you'll have something like this, a notebook. You're going to need a notebook for this class. This will be what I call your video notebook. Whenever I say to the boards, you're going to want to take out your video notebooks. And what's going to happen is I will give you opportunities to practice some problems, usually two or three practice problems. I'll usually tell you, okay, it's time to go to the boards, take out your notebook. At that time, you can pause the video and do the three problems that I have given you. Practice those problems, and once you're done, you can unpause the video and then check your answers. It'll be a great way to get you involved in the learning process and lets you have opportunities uh, to practice the content and become masters of it. We're excited to have you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Brother Baird. I am a professor at Brigham Young University, Idaho. I'm going to tell you a few things about the course, what it is and what it isn't, and kind of what some of the expectations are. First, you need to know that this course 
is not designed for you only to learn math. It has a few different objectives. Number one, you're taking this course to fulfill the mission of BYU-Idaho. BYU-Idaho's mission does not start off saying we are going to produce the world's greatest scientists. It does make the claim that we are going to produce disciples. Your job in taking this course is to develop in your character uh, those things that will be most valuable to building up the kingdom. It is not only to get an academic education. That comes, you know what, you're going to learn math in this course. You're going to learn a lot of math in this course that's going to be very valuable for you. Every single week, it's going to be kind of mapped out like this. You're going to get a little video that's going to introduce stuff. And then you're going to be asked to do an assignment. And you're going to have that assignment done before class ever starts. Here's where class is. You're going to do assignment B during class. And after class, you're going to, with your friends and your classmates, you're going to have an assignment here and then you're going to report on how you've learned at the end of the week. Class is an essential part of this. This is, class is not meant to be an independent study course. It has been designed so that you need each other, your classmates, to get through this course. We've also developed some tutoring for you, if you should you need it. But it is not intended that you will ever succeed in this course by yourself. If you do know this math, and you know it really well, and you have already fulfilled this, and you're like, hey, I already got that, you have a responsibility to help those that are not quite as good in math as you are. And that's part of the purpose for this. As you watch these videos that we're creating for you uh, to introduce this material, some of you may not need it at all. In fact, that would be our goal, that I would become absolutely useless to you. If you were to get together with your classmates and say, hey, how did you do that problem? What in the world was he talking about? That weird redheaded guy on the video camera, he's just, you explain it a lot better. If you guys could bond like that to get through this math, that would be the ideal. That's where you finally learned that education is not just individual. Uh, I had a chance to visit with Elder Hammond, who is an Area Authority 70 up here in Rexburg, and I asked him, about education and is it better to do it alone or collectively and he made the following statement he said education is first an individual matter and then a collective matter it is something where you are expected to act to learn to prepare and then to share with others what you have done and ponder and think about those things that you have learned and be able to apply them we're going to be talking about some of the provident living guidelines that the church has put out for smart financial stewardship that you guys are going to be able to do. Uh, in order to do that and the algebra, we have to go back to the basics and make sure everybody understands what really starts uh, their foundation for math. So your first assignment is the arithmetic facts. One plus one. So the goal of this first assignment is to make sure those come out of your brain, just poof, automatically. 9 plus 13, 14 plus 7, 13 plus 6, and you just are able to memorize them. Same thing goes with some multiplication facts. 1 times 1, 1 times 2, all the way up to 1 times 15, down to 15 times 1, all the way over to 15 times 15. Now many of you have done these before, maybe going up to 10 times 10 or 12 times 12. Here we really want you to push yourself. Get up to 15 times 15. Learn these guys. If there are any that you don't already know between these two, make some flashcards for them. That's going to be that in the first assignment. That next video is coming up. Um, we'll run through how to do that and how to use them well. But these are going to be kind of the harder ones. I'll tell you why we do this. When you started to learn to read, Everybody has to go through and learn the letters of the alphabet, what sounds they make. And that's great when they do it, but that's not sufficient. So if I were up here and I held up a card that said, what's that letter? An A on there. What sound does it make? A ah or a. Uh. Good. And then take another one. H. O is an O or an A uh sound, depending on what letter it's in, what word it's in. R, what sound does that make? 
S, and you keep going through all of them, and then at the end I say, well, where did the horse run off to? You realize that there's more than that. These are not the end goal. These are kind of like letters put together that we're going to explain larger concepts of algebra and finance that you're going to need these understood very quickly in order to understand the bigger concepts. So that's where your first assignment leads you. Thank you.